Good morning, it's June 26. We're here on a Monday of the final trading week of June before we head into the long weekend with the July 4th weekend. So volumes will probably be a little bit light, but as we cautioned in the Longbow Arrows this morning, which hopefully you've read, there's some technicals that we've gotten from some of our prime broker friends that are really interesting. Um, there's some asymmetry to the, to the downside in terms of the technicals and how it's been trading, not just during the day, but overnight. So definitely give that a read if you haven't. And now you're seeing obviously weakness in NASDAQ, weakness in S&P, Dow is just you know, kind of flat right now as we're talking about it, Russell a little bit up. But I wanted to go over to the Longbow dashboard to talk about a few different things. We're gonna be doing an interview with one of the uh, portfolio managers of global equities of uh, aerial investments later today. Um, and so you should expect to be seeing that in the next few weeks. And you know, we were looking through you know, where they're investing, what they're thinking about, and how it overlaps with our portfolio. And here I've given you some securities. I've given you EFA, which is developed markets. That's an ETF, EFA. Emerging markets, which is EEM. I've got Japan again, but UNG, the, the natural gas, um, and then emerging market bonds, EMB. You know, earlier today, the UNG, so natural gas, was flagging overbought. Right now, it's just slightly under as the market's taken a downturn. But you can see in short-term signal bullish, medium-term bearish. But be really cautious here. This isn't, you know, um, so if you've made some money on the long trade, you know, we'd be careful. You know, people might be getting excited if there's some sort of, um, I guess, additional consequence to the issues going over in Russia and how it might affect energy or materials. Um, but from a, just a pure technical standpoint, so not macro or other types of events, it's uh, near overbought, it was overbought this morning. And then you've got a bullish bearish setup. We're gonna be giving you some statistics, but I'll just let you know when it's mismatched like that, and you can see, whoop, trading range really far down, uh, nearing the top end of the trading range here. So yes, you know, forget this in terms of it was with the war, if you look on a shorter term time frame, it's kind of been bouncing around. So I would use those trading ranges to trade accordingly and not to get too greedy. Um, and then you're heading towards low end of ranges for EFA, for EEM, for Japan, uh, but they're not quite there yet. So nothing to pull the trigger on. We've been talking to you about how to be defensive. If we head over to the doomsday dozen, you can see here, yes, it's come down from 100, but it's still 92. That's still in a very cautious sentiment area. And you can see the market went down. So um, we look at this signal as being something, one of many things you should look at, not the only one, but you really want to be more cautious when you're in that red hot zone. You can take a look at a lot of the underlying there, but we still remain cautious. Um, having our portfolios when they can be hedged or semi-hedged. And then for the international portfolios, you know, we just talked with a big client last week about having still a lot of defensiveness in that portfolio. So when you can't hedge, you know, you can stay defensive or have at least some defensive positioning in there. When you can hedge, obviously you're also looking to this to say, okay, when are people getting too greedy? When is protection a little bit cheap? And we've mentioned in the air. Uh, arrows this morning, it's not that people have been putting on a ton of protection. No, they've been selling vol. And so you don't have a lot of people with a ton of protection on there. So obviously, the, then you have to be a little bit more cautious yourself. That's it for today. We'll see you back tomorrow. We'll be here all week this week. Bye-bye.